I'm Aubrey, Aubrey Paxton. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I've worked with Jill for about 12 years now. So yeah, and I am her creative partner. That's who I am. Um, okay, I wanted to share with you guys today a new suite of products that Stampin' Up! has come out with. It is the, well, here, I'll show you the stamp set first. The Here Together stamp set. I think it's the All Together, All Together Suite is what they called it. So it has this stamp set, and I love the sayings in here. The font is super cute. And then it has dies. So it has, it can cut out the cute. Oh, look, Beth is bringing me the collection here. So it has the dies. It can cut out the different hands. And it has this little heart. And then it has these two um, word things. You matter and here for you. So those are super cute and fun to play with. It also has this designer series paper, which is all black and white. I love just plain black and white designer series paper, super cute. And throughout the paper, it has the different hands, kind of like in the stamp set. So that's fun. My favorite thing in this is that it has all of the blends skin tone colors. So if you are a blends fan and you've used them over the years, you know that they tried to give us some skin tone, skin tone colors. We had ivory and bronze. And I don't know if you know this, but there's a lot more skin colors than ivory and bronze. <laughs> so, I mean, and practically impossible to blend together, those two colors anyway. And so this is so exciting because not only do we have 10 markers of skin tones, but if you combine all of those markers, you have the whole spectrum. And I, I love it because, I don't know, there's just something fun about being able to make more than one kind of person when you're coloring. So anyway, so like I said, this has been one of my favorite things. I love blends. I love um, using the al al alcohol markers and blending things together. So Jill, I asked her like what I should actually demonstrate because I knew I wanted to show you this suite, but she said, Get, just give some tips on how to blend together like a hand because that's what's in this, this set. So like, what's the, like, where do you put the shadowing and where, like, where do you do the dark? Where do you do the light? That kind of thing. So I'm just gonna give you some quick tips really quick. Um, not anything too crazy. But I love this paper um, in the in the designer series paper that has the hands reaching up. And I do not claim to be an expert when it comes to shading and whatnot, but I can give you a few tips. What I honestly do is I look at my hand <laughs> and I just say, okay, so I have lines here and here, and I just kind of try and recreate that on the skin or on the hand. So you can see, I've done two different ones here. Um, you have a line that comes down in here and then one that comes across and, and then all of your fingers have lines. So if you were to just color that all one color, it wouldn't look like a dynamic hand. But if you put those lines in there, it kind of gives your hand a little bit extra shading. I also like to decide where the light would be coming from on my card and I like to shade that area or shade the opposite area too. So like if this was my light right here and it's shining from over here, you can see if you look at my actual hand, there's more shadow and darkness on this side of my hand than there is on this because that's where the light's shining into my hand, right? So I'm gonna, if the light was from here, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna shade on this side of my hand. Does that make sense? We all got a shading lesson. I'm gonna come in with my, um, this is my darker color. These are all labeled 100 to 1000. So one, two, 300, 400. 
Um, and you can shade, obviously, you can shade any color together, but generally the color closest is going to shade the best together unless, I don't know, you can see on this paper what really blends together and what goes nicely. But anyway, I like to come in and just put a little more shadow, sh shade, just a little bit more on these sides, okay? And like down this arm. And then I'm gonna come in with the next shade up. And I'm using my smaller tips on, on these because it's such a small area. I generally like my bigger tips, but if it's a small area, I use the smaller. And then I just um, come in and color the whole thing. And what I do is I go over the part that I've already colored again. And then I will just bring that dark out. I don't know. I don't know how the best way to describe it is without just showing you. So I'm gonna move over to my big brush here. And I just like to kind of flick where the dark is like that. So that it's blending it, but I don't want to go over the light part that I color too much. I don't know if that makes any sense. Because the more that you blend over a color, like here, this is, going over it once. If I come in and I color again, even that part that I already blended is going to darken, even though this is one color. Do you see that? The more you color it, the more you blend over it, the darker it's going to be, okay? So I want to leave as much on this light side as I can uncolored or only gone over once. Is it hard to see on there? Maybe with this lighter skin tone, it might be a little easier too. So, so I've done the same here. I've, um, let's try and see if it's easier to tell. So I'm gonna come in and just do some of this darker shading again on this side, okay? And then I'm gonna come in with my lighter. Ha, I used my lighter. Just kidding. This is the darker one. We'll go over that again. Okay, and then come in with my lighter. So the alcohol just, it as it dries, it's just continually blending together. That's the cool thing about using these alcohol markers. Okay, so you can see the more I blend on this side, the darker it's gonna be toward this edge and the lighter it's gonna be on that. Can you see that kind of? Yeah, I promise you it will look good. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of the general idea of blending. Let me show you actual cards, how about? So here is one I did with that paper using lots of different colors there. And then I just went and I colored the whole background with pool party too. So it kind of looks like the sky, it's kind of fun. And then this is one of those stamped images, super fun. You matter to me. This one I used some Wink of Stella and this one I used some Wink of Stella. So this one I didn't do hands, I just colored on the designer series paper kind of fun. And then these ones Jill made, these are with the, um, the dies, the here for you with that pretty shimmer paper. You wouldn't have guessed that Jill made these ones. <laughs> it, they look like her. And you matter. And this is a fun fold one. Okay. Yeah. So this is a super fun suite. I love all of the different skin tones. And yeah, thank you guys.